The Louth by-election, 1921 was a by-election held on September 22, 1921 for the British House of Commons constituency of Louth in Lincolnshire. The seat had become vacant following the death of the Liberal Member of Parliament, MP, Thomas Winteringham on August 8, 1921. He had been elected at the by-election in 1920. The result at the last election was the Liberals selected 41-year-old Margaret Winteringham, widow of the former MP, as their candidate to defend the seat. She worked as a teacher, before becoming headmistress of a school in Grimsby. She became a magistrate and a member of the Grimsby Education Committee. She was involved in many political movements, including the National Union of Women Workers, the British Temperance Association, the National Union of Societies for Equal Citizenship, NUSAC, the Women's Institute and the Town's Women's Guild. She was standing for Parliament for the first time. On August 17, the Unionists selected 41-year-old Sir Alan Hutchings as their candidate to challenge for the seat. He was Secretary of the Department of the Director General of Voluntary Organizations, War Office, from 1915 to 19. He was standing for Parliament for the first time. The Labour Party selected Lieutenant James George of Peterborough as their candidate to challenge for the seat. He was standing for Parliament for the first time. Polling day was set for September 22, 1921, 45 days after the death of the former MP, allowing for a long campaign. Despite rumors the contrary, on September 13 nominations closed to confirm that the election would be a three-way contest. Hutchings received the official endorsement of the coalition government. Winteringham held the seat that her husband had gained for the Liberals in a by-election the year before. Winteringham became only the second woman to take her seat in the House of Commons and the first female Liberal MP. Winteringham was re-elected at the 1922 general election.